welcome. Today we're going to be going over the steps I took in making these paper cartridges for this 1863 Sharps, uh, new model Sharps. And uh, we're going to go over the quickly the tool that I made, the paper powder cartridges, um, a little bit of the bullet casting, and then ultimately assembling these bullets all together. So, let's take a look at how we did it. We're going to start by throwing some lead into the pot and casting some 62 caliber Sharps bullets. We're using the Christmas tree style bullets for these paper cartridges. And we're also using pure lead. So we've got an amount of these in the pot that we can uh, make some paper cartridges with. Okay, so we've got our bullets we cast, micrometer, some tracing paper, some cigarette. Rosie's going nuts. Some cigarette butts. <laughs> butts. And uh, we need to make a mandrel. Wow, I actually think that's perfect. I formed a large cartridge blank and taped it to one of the bullets we cast. This will help us determine the depth of the chamber and we can, from that point, trim our mandrel to the proper length to size the cartridges. And it basically makes a gauge for us for the rest of the project. All right, so we've rolled our paper, got our overall length marked. Oh, let's zero these out. This will tell us our chamber depth, or at least our paper length that we need. So I got 1.376. Now that we know our final chamber dimension, we can finish our forming tool by cutting the die side of it. This will be 9 sixteenths of an inch, and the length will be the length of our chamber up to the first ring on our bullet. That will allow us to set our depth with each cartridge we make.
Okay, so this is what we turned out on our lathe. And this barrel matches our bullet diameter, so our paper will slide off. And this is a mandrel that I made for um, the bottom papers. Uh, I'm using cigarette rolling papers for the ignition paper. And this kind of helped forms it. And uh, I made a couple. Let me show you how I did it anyway. <laughs> we'll go from there. I'm using this razor to cut the paper from my cartridges and I made a little punch for the base part. Okay, so I've made a few of these now, starting to get the hang of it. Starting to really like my little tool that I made. So, we'll go over how we do these. Separate some of these out. Using tracing paper and cigarette rolling paper for the ignition part that I cut. Whoop. Using this cutter that I made. You could use a patch cutter or anything like that. These are two inches long, about an inch and three eighths wide. Pull. Strip of glue. Just wrap it around nice and tight. Like that. This is a part that I do differently from some of the other people that I've seen that do it. <clears throat> and I'll put some notes of the YouTube videos that I watched before making this little device. A lot of good information out there. And thank you to them for posting their videos and, you know, gives us all great ideas. And so we can do stuff like this. But I made this mandrel here. I just punched that through there. And then I roll this around and it kind of burnishes the edges of that. And keeps everything nice and flat. Like so. You can go ahead and touch it. I actually had to drill a hole through here because it was the suction was so tight that it was come collapsing my cups. Just like that. All right, our shot cups are all dry. And um, the dimension I made this is also the same as the chamber dimension up to the first ring. So that's kind of my overall chamber length is to make sure when this is done that that ring is flush with the ridge here. <clears throat> so let's grab a cup and I like to stick them right back in there and we'll put in our powder and now I'm using a light load settle that down a little bit so I'm using a cream of wheat filler. And it's just about three of these scoops. And we'll set that in. Push it down a little bit. You can do that because it has this for a structure to hold it. Take that off. And I use just a couple drops of super glue and it kind of has a wicking motion. 
and you can see where it what's the paper around the lip when you put it in there and there's one I'll let that sit over here and dry all we gotta do is lube it and shoot it <laughs>